Hello, and welcome to another episode of Toxic Masculinity. We are here to entertain, offend, defend anyone and everyone, more than likely, hopefully, to make you think. And for some of you, it just might be for the very first time. We like to refer to this segment as Double D's in Your Face. I'm here with my co partner in crime. Don the Predator Fry and yours truly, Dan to be severed. What'd you think there, Don? I thought it was fantastic. I I stand corrected. It, you actually pulled off a good one this time. Well, gosh, let's cut and be done. Yes, run, <laughs> run. So, Mister Fry, I I hear that there's an awful lot of things in the news, and we've got both uh, Brandon and uh, Tony that are going to bring us. Uh, some of the the things in the news, and we're simply just, I guess, going to chat about them to find out uh, uh, you and your stars and stripes uh, shirt there. What you feel about uh, some of these things, knowing that uh, it's just your 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 feelings, and uh, you know, uh, we always simply know that you typically wake up on the wrong side of the bed anyway. But uh, we, we'll, I guess we'll we'll wait to see. How we come up with some of these uh, some of these questions? Yeah, so, I have a red, white, blue uh, shirt. You have a red, white shirt and blue hair, so it looks very good. Well, good, thank you, and, and all of my same original teeth. Yes, <laughs> they just had to pick them up off the ground and whack them back in. <laughs> so super glue them right back in. You bet. You know, nothing. <clears throat> it's too cool for dad. Yeah. No, yeah. Just gonna go see the old local taxidermist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought a couple beaver teeth, a couple, you know, fangs, and it would be, be good there as well, you know. So something a little unusual. It looks good on you though, buddy. It looks good on you. Yeah. All right. So what um well, I mean, well, we should probably let, let uh, those that uh, that uh, are, are viewing it here. You're uh, down in the, the Tucson, Arizona air vicinity, and I'm actually up in Howell, Michigan. You know, so we're still, but it's probably the best internet connection that we've had in a while. And uh, the, the name of the show, Toxic Masculinity, so that, uh, you know, we're probably two of the worst individuals that uh, people can be looking upon here nowadays. But at the same token, we're just going to give them our, our uh, opinions whether they want to do anything with them. Oh, our opinion from the last century. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in your case, some last, might, might last apply, two. but I, I just think that they're in for a, a good dose of toxic masculinity, masculinity being the first one, because Mr. Fry, obviously you woke up this morning because here you are. Here I, I mean, am. did you, uh, uh, did you hit when you woke up there? Did you, did you I, I identify with anybody different than other than Don, the predator fry? Yes. I, I am still identifying with a twenty as a twenty five year old male who is um, number one contender for the world heavyweight championship. I'm just waiting for uh, your, the your paper. opportunity. Yes, the paperwork and the the contract come to my desk. Wow, you're uh, you had a better night's sleep than what I did. I I I, I wouldn't even come close to that one. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh, well, actually. I actually fell off the bed, I think. Oh, so you identified as Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> you had the stash. I don't know how... You had the oh, stash. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't act okay. like you don't know who he is. Don't well, I, I know who I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I just kept thinking, well, I can't uh I can't put one and one together to make two. So we'll we'll have, we'll have to sip and go go. Yes. That was a little over my head there, you know, Don. A little <laughs> over my head. A little too fast yeah, for you, right? Yeah, I got to say, uh, you, you got to slow some things down there for me a little bit. I, I, I need a couple picture drawings here next time, you know, ink pens, picture drawings to come along. Uh, Lori, come in here and smack him in the head. <laughs> All righty. So, who do we have here, uh, Tony or Brandon? Who do we have? What, what's our first? What's oh. our first topic of, of discussion? Got, Mr. Got, Fry seems like he's got a couple cups of coffee in him. He's he's sassier than ever here right now, so we're good to go. Get after it, yes. We'd like to get into a couple of hot topics about the Olympics. 
The first Hot one topics. The first one being Laurel Hubbard, the first openly transgender athlete who will be competing in the upcoming Olympics in Tokyo. You said you said her first name is Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Laurel Hubbard. Okay, the hot topic is okay. So she's I know like a, about she is as big as she is as big as the Hubbard telescope, and I've, I've seen it. <laughs> so, but but the hot topic for for those that are just tuning in, though, who is who is? Give us some background. Who is Laurel Hubbard? Forty three year hey. old biological male who is transitioned into a female in 2013 and she'll be competing in the women's 87 kilogram weightlifting class for New so Zealand. Did she completely transition? I'm not exactly sure about that. Oh, come on. You've seen photos. Come on. You got a couple on your wall. Yeah. <laughs> I know that if her testosterone levels are below a certain threshold, then she can compete as a woman in the Olympics. That was a rule that was changed in 2015. Well, I, I guess we could simply just start there. Of, I mean, honestly, uh, Mr. Fry, do you really care if, if, if a man wants to turn into a woman or if a woman wants to turn into a man? I mean, just right off the top of your head, do you really care? No, I don't give a shit. And I yeah. think I think same, it's... Same, same here, right? Well, be simply just cut and dry. I don't think really too many people really should care one way or the other, but doing that and, and, and but not to do it so that now you can go and compete because how, how, how was oh, uh, you, okay, what was... I, I'm not certain to call it call her Laurel or what was what was his man what was his man name? Larry, <laughs> Gavin, yeah, Gavin. Okay, so we got Gavin, aka Laurel, and Laurel Gav- now Gavin. Gavin this- competed against men as a weightlifter until and how, how did Gavin do in, in, the, in the do race? And now he's well, he more. he held a a junior a junior <laughs> weightlifting record, so he he actually. Did okay, and he competed at a much heavier okay, weight. But okay, just just to educate you, junior means eighteen years and younger. All right. If, 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 in case I had too much earwax in my ears at the time, I think you said, "Oh, oh, uh, oh, Gavin here was forty three years old now." Correct. All right. So that'd be like twenty some years ago, huh? Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Gavin, I, again, I, as I always say, I could care less if you want to do naked cartwheels. Do them in your backyard, backyard. not in the front yard, just so I have to. I don't. I don't want to have to be seen. It. I don't need my eyes scarred. I'm not going to sit there with my sunglasses and watch you by any means. It's. It's kind of like going. Why don't you just go along in your life, and just, you know, if if you suck that as a, a dude in it, well, that's that was your cards dealt to you. If you want to ch- change your genders, you go right ahead. I hope you have a uh, a great life. But to be allowed in, in the, uh, to compete as a woman now, no, that's not right. I mean, r- really, you know, I, who I really want to ask that question to, Bruce Jenner. Yeah. That would be that would be the perfect person to ask that question to because you know he actually was a man who competed in the Olympic Games and won the decathlon. Correct, Don. The yes, the Catholic. And, I, and if yeah. I was one of the people competing against him, I'd kill myself right now. Well, <laughs> at the time he was a dude, and he did everything uh, duty wise. Okay, so he, you know, I mean, again, what he wants to do later in life, that's that's up to him. So, I mean, that is one of the uh, one of the freedoms that we have here in the United States that you can do and or say practically anything and everything that you want. Um, well, it used to be, it used to be now, now with uh, the PC world attacking everybody, uh, freedom of speech has gone out the window apparently. Well, uh, yes. I, well, I was hoping that you were going to jump in there on that there, Don, because yeah, our, our constitutional rights are definitely uh, under, uh, under attack. Freedom of speech, yeah, you, 
is being muffled more and more, and a lot more people are not being held accountable for what uh, does come out of their mouth. That's uh, that tell people before they may or may not like what uh, what, what we talk about, and, but the freedom that they have is turn turn the channel, go watch something else, right, right. whatever else you want to watch. That's that's the freedom that you have. Absolutely, you're not so, forced. You're not forced to. To watch uh, Dan and Don, but uh, you should if you want to want to be educated. <laughs> and well, yeah, I, I guess well, I guess educated in, in, in a kind of comical type way because let's face it, you and I are you know definitely on, on both sides of the fence at different times at different days. But I think right now we stand pretty much united. I know uh, Galvin Gavin here, who is now Laurel. You know, I, I wish him and or her. Uh, a, a very great life, but as a competitor, no, I don't. So another hot topic. Well, I I think it's I think it's fucking funny, and I think the leftists deserve it, you know. And if they're upset about it, good, they deserve it, you know. The, they're the ones that are allowing want this shit allowed, and uh, if it, when it happens and it doesn't go their way, they have a fit, and too bad. Oh, well, getting well. But at the same token, why don't they, why don't they just start up a new Olympic Games for cross gender? You know, I mean, you got uh, the Rainbow Coalition. I mean, why don't they just do their own little Olympic Games stuff like that as well? To where now it's all you know, to where now they're on their same playing field where you know the uh, Olympic Games, original Olympic Games, could be kept at their standards and uh, whatever standards that uh, this new. Uh, New organization wants to do, let them do that. All right, they've they've got that per their standards. They've got that drag racing when those trannies uh, dressed up in heels and they race each other. Yeah, that that could be one of the Olympic sports for them. Yeah, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Instead of cars, we got you know. Dudes, aka women in hills, <laughs> drag, <laughs> drag racing. <laughs> that was that was actually very witty, there, Mister Fry. I, I I give you some kudos on that one. <laughs> well, it's a real, it's real, it's a real thing. Oh, it is. Yeah, I, I just yeah. thought you were making up. Uh... No, I was flipping <laughs> flipping through the channels one day. <laughs> there, oh, it was frightening. Wow. <laughs> uh uh Brandon, Tony, I'm not certain what you guys want to inject on, on that. Uh, do you think we... we they got a couple medals on the wall here. Yeah. Scan the wall. If we, we could we could either touch base a little bit more on... Uh, if you guys have any... No, I, think you, you want to you, weigh I think you guys on, covered on, it. Gavin Hubbard, a.k.a. Laurel, or a less or lower, if you want to go move us on to the next hot topic right there. Because yeah, it's, we'll, uh, I think we should move on to the next one. Okay. Yeah, before they kick down the door, come on, i Next uh, topic, again, has to do with the Olympics. This is about Shikari Richardson, who tested positive for THC at the Olympic trials in June, and she now will not be able to compete in the 100-meter event at Tokyo. Which is her bread-and-butter event, correct? Absolutely. She does have a chance to compete in the 4x100-meter relay, possibly, but the, the premier event, she won't be able to compete in why is that i thought everybody say that you know um medical marijuana is okay this has got a little thc in it not for the olympics not for the olympics she actually got a one-month ban it would have been a three-month ban it got reduced because she took uh she completed a counseling program regarding her use of (laughs) cannabis so that's how it got knocked down to a month, and she still has a chance to to run in the in the relay. I hope she wins. She's she's accepting responsibility yeah, for everything. Exactly, and that's why I hope she wins because she accepted responsibility. Wasn't one of these people who who pissed you know up their leg and tried lying their way out of it. You know, uh, it's rare that a woman accepts responsibility for anything. And uh, and I'm very impressed that she she accepted responsibility for this. Okay, but on the contradiction point here right now, okay, we 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 got Shikari who basically tested positive, which again you you see the last several years in the United States, state by state, things are are opening up more and more. Uh, 
CBD uh, and, you know, smoking, vaping of marijuana, you know, THC levels. It's going to affect uh, both the job hiring uh, status. I think it will eventually, uh, it, it should be affecting even like the Olympic Games. I mean, I can't really see where marijuana is going to really benefit you in a, again, just to say for race or something like that. I, yeah. I can see where, where the CBD oil aspect of it will benefit you for aches and pains, but it, uh, it's also been proven that CBD with a certain level of THC also opens up additional body receptors and it makes it even more effective the CBD I'm, I'm little, makes the a little CBD. bit torn on this one. Makes the, C Sorry. the THC makes the CBD more effective. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Again, just from, from just low level, just just by having some low levels THC into it. Um, again, the, I, there there's more questions. I would almost like like that. Well, you're no you're about the Shikari it's incident, uh, but uh, if she, I mean, was she smoking up or was she? Well, Wait a second, um, wait a second, it, Mr. Seven. You're you're a CBD distributor. You have your own line of products. Is there any THC in the Beast CBD products? It's uh, there actually is a very trace amount of THC because of the medical fact that it does open up additional body receptors. But I think it's at a uh, I don't know if it, it, I have to actually look it back up. Is it a point three or is it a point five? I just know that. It's at such such a, a low level that uh, it it does not show up yeah. in your your blood system, but it does help you out more medically that way. Yeah. But see, to to, to me, I, I would always tell anyone that they should go and test it themselves because you know you don't have the FDA; they're not uh, governing or regulate any of these products here right now. The only thing that you have to watch out for is state to state. You know, CBD is is able to cross state. Uh, boundaries whereas thc it, it basically it's landlocked it can only be uh produced and uh i should say grown produced and uh, consumed all inside that same state so that's where thc is a lot more landlocked where cbd oil is not there's a lot to it and and with each passing year more and more things are are opening up so and even then, we probably have some viewers that are probably saying, well, yeah, but you got, there's all kinds of different information they could be bringing to our light. And, and hopefully that's what uh, some of the viewers will be doing, either bring up some additional questions for us, but then also maybe to give us a little bit more of what regulations that they are aware of to, to, so that we're here to you know, educate some folks here as well. I mean, it's not all just shits and giggles that we're having here. I mean, we're, we're, we're here to... Uh, uh, bring some topics to uh, to the surface and to either scratch your head there a few times and go, well, what's the world coming to? And just and to move along because obviously, Mr. Fry, you're not making any of these rules and regulations. We simply uh, are uh, subjected to some of the stupidity yes. that is taking place in our country. Yes. 